First up tonight, new exclusive polling numbers in the Senate race that pits Republican Terry Lynn Land against Democrat Gary Peters. And, like the governor's race, it's competitive. 24 News 8 political reporter Rick Albin is back with these new numbers, Rick. I promise you it's just after 6 <laughs> o'clock now so we can do these. You know, we already know that this race has been a toss-up for some time. That's according to Real Clear Politics, and they track an average of polls we like to keep an eye on. Now, our exclusive numbers from Epic MRA show this race has closed by about three points since July. If the election had been held during the survey period, August 22nd through the 24th, 45% of those asked say they would vote for Democrat. Democrat Gary Peters. That's the same number for Peters from just about a month ago in another epic MRA poll. 39% this time around preferred Republican Terry Lynn Land. That's up three points from what she had in July. Now the numbers still show Peters lead outside of the margin or inside the uh, margin of I'm sorry outside the margin of error of plus or minus four percent from the 600 people who were interviewed. This is a rare open seat in the U.S. Senate that Democrats see as a whole since Senator Carl Levin has been a Democratic member of the chamber since 1979. Republicans view it as a chance to pick up and increase their numbers in the Senate where they've been in the minority since 2007. This is one of those big matchups that we have told you about for months and one that we're going to continue to follow right through Election Day, 68 days from now in Decision 2014. All right, lots to keep an eye on. Yeah, it's only going to get busier from here. Definitely. Thank you, Rick. Thanks, Rick.